spectator being participator. Come pregnant tonight. Evangelist is good to see you. Oh, your story has changed. Now, somebody, before you sit down, God's word says, until the spirit be poor, keep on shouting until you feel something. Until you feel the spirit of God poured upon you. Then the wilderness will become the fruitful field. The fruitful field will become the forest. But it takes the spirit of God, the agent of change, until the spirit be poured upon us. Oh, the Holy Ghost is here tonight. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The Holy Ghost is here tonight. I know he came for me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You may be seated in his presence. The first day is God's day. There is nothing that begins without him. He is known as the first, the alpha, the beginning. Everything begins from God. There is no beginning without the Almighty God. So this first day, Yahweh is here. The unchanging changer is here with us. And I know he came because of you. Before we proceed, I want to Salute our friend, amen, amen. Dr. Godwin Isaac, all the way from New Nigeria. Come on, celebrate him, love him. Show him some love tonight. Show him some love tonight. He came all the way from Houston, Texas. He has a meeting going on tomorrow. They said, I can't be in town and there's such a program and not be there. So, the Lord God bless you for coming to honor us with your great presence. The Almighty God bless you. Oh, He gave me some CDs here. Just one copy is not for sale. Hated but blessed. So, they can hate you. It doesn't stop your blessing. They can talk about you, but it doesn't stop you from moving forward. Who, who am I talking to? Who relates to that? They can badmouth you, but it doesn't make your life bad. <laughs> Good word. Good word. Let's celebrate God's servant once again. Amen. You came for you. I came for me. How many of you came for you? I came for me. And inside of me is every one of you. Inside of me is my family. Inside of me is everything that pertains to me. Hallelujah. Anything that is connected to me, I came for me tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Before we proceed, we're going to take our offering, but I follow me to Genesis 21. By now, if you don't know that scripture, you have not been in this house. The Bible says in Genesis 21 verse 1, And God visited Sarah as he had said. God will visit you. Okay, I found my church somewhere. I said the Lord God will visit you. The Almighty God will turn your story around. When God visited Sarah, her story changed. She began to sing. Who would have said? Who would have said? You know, it will be said concerning somebody here. Via this program, who would have said that this man, this woman, their story can be turned around like this? That is your story in the name of the Lord Jesus. John chapter 9 verse 25 we were told of a man 
hear the testimony of this man. Amen. John chapter 9 verse 25. They questioned him. See what he answered. And he answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. But the one thing I know, whereas I was blind, now I see. Whether the man that healed me be a sinner or not. But this is one thing I know. I knew, I know I was blind before. I could not see. But now I can do what? I can see. I don't care your argument. I used to be an illegal immigrant. But now, citizen. Oh, somebody received it. I used to be barren. I used to be known as someone that don't have kids. But now God has blessed me. Amen. Your last story is the story of grace. Amen. I mean, the worst days of your life is past. Amen. Your last story is the story of glory. Amen. Your last story is the story of honor. Amen. If I'm talking to you, shout a better amen. amen. But now I rent to people. Yeah. Is somebody hearing me? Yeah. I used to be an employee. But now I employ people. Yeah. That is the change of story we are talking about. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's the change we're talking about. I used to be an employee. But now I'm an employer. Yeah. Of labor, Amen. your story will change. Amen. The man said, He answered them, Whether the man be a sinner, whether he be a saint, but the, the main thing is that I used to be blind, but now I see. You can't. I used to be blind, but now I see. Let everything be backed up with faith tonight. Ignore the person next to you. When your story changes, they will come seek you. When your level changes, they will come ask you how you got there. So ignore them. Praise the Lord. Friends, when your story changes, those that used to laugh at you, they will come back before you. Amen. If you think I'm lying, go ask Elisha. Go ask Elisha. They were all at the same level. They were all called the sons of the prophet. But this man decided to do something extraordinary in the face of discouragement. They told him, do you know your master will be taking? He said, don't worry about that. Whether he be a sinner, whether he's going today, mm -hmm. the thing is that I'm anointed. I am going to be anointed. He followed him. And at the end of the day, the Bible said, the mantle fell. Somebody's mantle is falling today. The mantle of your double promotion is falling today. The mantle of your change is falling today. Better be in faith, better be in the spirit of speaking. We are prayed up. The mountain, the mantle of your deliverance is falling upon you today. The mantle of your glory is falling upon you today. The mantle of your lifting is falling upon you today. When he got that mantle, he got to the riverside. And it lies, and the river came open. On the other side, we are the sons of the prophet. Now, after this program, certain persons will be waiting to see. And see, they will see. Hey! I say, see, they will see. I say, see, they will see. I say, see, they will see. See, they will see. 
you do tonight, do it by faith. Do it by faith. Is somebody coming to sing? I said, let's sing that song. Who's taking the mic? Hallelujah. Lika to shate. Lehim braga to shate. We need a drummer. Lehim brogo to shate. Zulada de bo shate.
my testimony will be great. Because it's going to be written about God. How I overcame. I believe. Man of God, I came expectant. I came expectant. I passed on running behind schedule. Did somebody just hear what I said? I don't know about you, but if it looks like you are running behind schedule, that you need speed to catch up. 